Here's my print so far. I've also got the stencil itself and that actually is quite nice itself. I'm going to keep that to go in my journal. And this bit, remember this is the bit that I originally cut the circle out to make my sun shape. Now the reason why I wanted to keep that is if I want to stencil just in those centre of the circle, I can place that over I can place this over and then I know exactly where I'm going within that circle. I'm going to define my shapes now. I've got a super fine sharpie. Could be any black liner. And just to keep that kind of handmade, hand-cut edge, I'm keeping it very loose, going over it more than once. So it's got that kind of scribbly, arty look. I'm switching to a white pen now so I can just highlight and tidy up some of the background and also work on this bit of pattern I've created in the middle of my sunshine shapes. stamping now around the, the sunflower shape so I'm avoiding those and one thing I think my page is really missing is some black so I'm using a palette knife and I'm just going to scrape a little bit in around the edges it will actually make the other colours really pop Now just with the edge of an old card also. And if you want to intensify any of the colour, you can always go on with your Distress Crayons or similar. If you've got Gelatos, Neo Colours, anything for adding. A little bit of extra colour. we have had unusually hot weather we've had a long stretch of really hot sunny weather and it happens very rarely here uh, needless to say we've all been moaning that we're too hot so my page has definitely taken a, a sunshine summer theme and just to finish off I'm going to add this quote it's a Mungo Jerry quote in the summertime when the weather is hot you can reach right up and touch the sky. I'm going to add that, maybe stitch around my page as well and then stick it into my large journal. <laughs>